Hi, welcome to Arch Labs Yoda. We have just launched Yoda 4.1 and one of the things that did not make it to the ISO was GNOME software. We had a debate about it and we're gonna show you what it is and if you like you can install it. What you do is you install it with sudo pacman minus s gnome and then software. That's it. Two providers, blah blah blah. Most likely it's always the best thing to take the first one, but that's no guarantee. But give it a try and then you'll know in the future. Gnome software, why is it not included? Hmm. Well, we know which software is good in Linux, so we, we know the main uh, applications that you need to do your work. But GNOME software is just that. If you have don't know what software there is on uh, Linux, then you have this little program, GNOME software, you can launch. And it says, welcome to software, blah, blah, blah. And then here you can take a look. What software does it provide? Because normally on Linux or on Mac, uh, sorry, on Windows or Mac, we have to pay for software. Here in Linux, you just click and install. It's um, free. So GNOME Calculator, Builder Documents and so on. You can go and look for graphics. And it's quite a long overview of all kind of programs uh, there are. And as you can see, peak here, we've installed it. You see this little sign beside it. So that one we've installed. So it's always a choice if you make an ISO, what program will we include? What, um, what is more valid or is better or, or what is maintained? Stuff like that. Um, but you can have a look at this, uh, all the, this overview. And if you change your look, let's do that. I think it's this one I have to change to our dark crimson. I mean, it's nice. It's beautiful design. It adapts to your theme and that's what we want. But like I said, uh, you have to include some and exclude others. So here it is, GNOME software. If this is something for you, you can install it. 